So I just have a question about these Ultra HD Blu-rays. I recently switched over to Blu-rays about two years ago and I was hesitant for the longest time about switching formats because I owned so many DVDs and even though at the time, which was back in 2007, I had considered the possibility of Blu-ray because the picture was awesome, the sound was so great. You know, in my mind, I just described the whole thing as kapow. <laughs> I was very blown away by it. But as time went by, I, I just kind of rationalized it as, well, you have so many DVDs, why do you need to switch format? And then, of course, we eventually had the battle between the HD DVD and the Blu-ray, and of course, we know how that turned out. But my question here is, for those of you who, obviously we're all collectors, but for those of you who already have Blu-rays, are you moving over and transitioning to the next generation of Blu-ray, or are you just going to hold out, wait for a price drop, because eventually they will. I mean, let's be realistic, right? When DVDs were first out, I think starting price was $24 for a new Blu-ray, sorry. <laughs> I got myself thrown off there. Um, starting price for a new DVD was $24. And at the time, that seemed steep to me. I mean, I was just a college kid. I didn't really earn much, but I liked watching movies. And nowadays, you can get, like, a new DVD for $9, $12. That's a very big difference there. So, anyway, I was being stubborn and I eventually put off the change or the jump from Blu-ray and I always rationalized it as, well, DVDs are cheaper and all of my devices play DVDs and it would be less of a hassle. And yes, it's true. Um, I still agree with that, but I have, when you upgrade your, when you upgrade your TV and you upgrade your player, you may as well just go ahead and update the the format on which you watch film as well because if you've got this upscaling TV and an upscaling player and you're watching a DVD, some of them just look like straight VHS transfers and they just look so grainy and so dirty and yes, I know that's the appeal in VHS. I'm not dumping on VHS, but the understanding here is it's a DVD. It should look cleaner. It should look clearer. So that's kind of my my question here, which I've, I'm just kind of r rattling off and not getting to the point. <laughs> for those of you who have been collecting for quite some time, some of you who still have your VHS, your laser discs, your DVDs, your Blu-rays, are you going to transition over into the next generation of film format or at some point during your film collecting did you ever come to the conclusion no this is too much I'm stopping here say you chose to stop at DVD only because they're, they're still around they're still being produced and as I stated earlier they're still cheaper to some degree unless of course you know how to work a sale or a discount you know, some people are whizzes at that. I still haven't mastered that that very useful skill. And I'm envious of those of you who, do, who have. But at some point in time, do you come to the conclusion, I'm stopping here, I'm not making this change? Because that was my deal for the longest time. I had grown up on VHS, and then DVDs came around and I'm like, oh my gosh, this stuff is so cool. You've got all this special features. You can see all the behind the scenes stuff. And then we just got cheated on the DVD and because companies were pushing Blu-ray. So unless it was really like an independent film, because I've noticed that independent films, they still give you the special features regardless of format, but it's the larger studios that just really stick it to you. And yeah, that's crude, but it's true. <laughs> you know, they just really let you have it. They're like, no, you're just getting a plain Jane movie, and if you're lucky, we'll, we'll give you a, a trailer, and that's it. <laughs> you know, and that's, 
that's just very cruddy. But my mindset is it, it took me almost a decade to decide to switch over to Blu-ray and then this new generation of Blu-ray shows up and my first thought is, damn it. <laughs> Stuff like that happens to me. But my mindset is I'm perfectly fine with just DVD and Blu-ray. It's probably going to be another 10 years if and when I ever decide to switch over, but I know some of you are just very into the technology. You want to pick up the latest gadget, the latest toy. So did you just make the jump over to the next generation of Blu-ray? I keep saying that because I keep forgetting what they're called. I know they're <laughs> like Ultra HD Blu-rays, but my memory is not that great, so I am so sorry. I'm just going with what's easy for me to remember. But did you make that transition easily? Was it an easy decision or did you have to sit and think about it? I know this kind of feels like a pointless video, but it's just something that I was just kind of curious about and I wanted to chit chat with you guys, even if it's going back to the the VHS laser discs days, even if you struggled with that dilemma at the time. I still want to chit chat with you guys about that because it's still answers the question, it's just a different format, but that's the point. Do you adjust to new media easily is basically what I'm asking because me, I am an absolute mule. I take forever to decide, yes, I'm moving over to this or I'm not moving over to that, and I think that just happened to me as I got older and I got stingy with my money. <laughs> but. Yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now is I don't need, you know, an, a, an HD Blu-ray. I don't need a 3D Blu-ray. I'm just fine with just plain Jane regular Blu-rays. But either way, I would really love to chit-chat with you and discuss this. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? And I know I, I keep going in circles, so let's just go ahead and call it quits now and say goodbye and have a great day and I will talk to you guys later.